right, everybody. It's time for the update for the big tent, and we've got some big changes that I've made over the Christmas break to this tent. And uh, you haven't seen the progress on the tomato plants and the peppers since uh, the last break. So I think the last time I did an update was like work week 50 of 2018. So this is going to be work week one of 2019. And I've got some new lights that I got inside the tent because you know I got a Santa Claus brought me some uh, some new toys. So uh, I got to show you guys. So let me let me grab the camera. Well, I'll zip the tent, and then I'll show you guys the new setup and some of the growth that we've had over just three weeks with this new setup. All right. I mean, this tent now is like really bright because we've got some new, uh, two new lights. They are ceramic metal halide lights. I've got the uh, 315 waters, and I'm using a uh, 4200K bulb right now. So I figured I'd show you what this looks like. Here's the package of the bulb itself. And this is the light. I'm not gonna try and look directly into that, so I'll tilt the camera down here so you can see it. There's one there. There's one over here. And I've got those hanging here because I wanna see how much it's gonna enhance the growth. And as you can see, they've been in here for a week. And these are the tomato plants that used to be inside this tent that probably the last time you guys saw them, they were probably, I'd say, six inches. And so they've, they've taken off quite a bit. And they're, they're flowering. And so I should be getting some tomatoes to set pretty soon. You can see there's a lot of flower on here. And these are deterministic, so they're not going to be the type of tomatoes that keep growing and growing and become gangly everywhere. So what I want to do is I'm going to take these tomatoes and I'm going to let them grow and hang over the edge down that direction and so they should get to be about probably 42 inches about the size of this tomato cage here so they'll kind of hang down to the floor and then I'll you get my tomato yield and after they stop producing I'll just chop them off and then I've got my peppers back there and the peppers you can see oh the spots on here that's the uh, seaweed extract that I spray on top of here to give them a little extra foliar feeding on my plants so it gives them kind of a little molted you know spotty look kind of camouflages them from the bugs I guess <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can see back here, I've got quite a bit of the uh, peppers starting to form. And you know, there's some back there. There's a lot of flowering. And then you can see there's the you know, peppers setting on these. There's some more peppers down there setting. A bunch back there. So we're getting the, the peppers to start to form on these. You can see back there, there's some more on that one there bunch back there kind of all over you know they're, they're starting to set fruit so I'm really happy about that because then they end up turning out to be like these little yellow ones here oh I'll talk about this pepper bush in a minute it's really taken off but you can see there's a bunch of peppers on here these haven't turned yet I think there's some yellow ones back under here yeah there's there's a couple try to get you guys a shot some yellow ones there so I'll be harvesting those off I've already harvested off the ones for this weekend I took about five off of this bush here and so there's you know there's still a bunch there that are green now this pepper plant this is the one that came out of our compost bin our worm compost that we grow or not grow but process here on the homestead we take all of our vegetative waste we put it into the worm bin and then it becomes compost and so then I put some compost inside of this house plant and this pepper plant came growing out of it so you can see, I've got a pretty good sized pepper here, a couple down here. There's another one forming over there. There's one back there. There's one more right up here. There's another one there. And so, oh, and there's another one on the back side here. So you can see I had to actually put a little, one of my little mini pepper cages in here because it was getting so big it was flopping over. And I don't know how tall that thing's gonna get, but hopefully it won't get much taller. And uh, we've got a nice little yield off of that, too. And then over here, I've got a, a trio of the deterministic pepper, or not peppers, tomatoes in here. These are the, uh, let me see here, I'll get the bell. It's the uh, Bell Star Tomato. So they give you a two inch jointless fruit that's good for cooking or for salads. And so we've got three of them I put inside of this pot here. I wanted to see, well, actually, no, I got four in there. That's right. I put four in here, so I'm going to let all 
four of these grow up and just go up through the cage and then I'll just kind of start letting them come through the cages. You know, openings here, let them come flow out. We should get a pretty good yield off of that. But I wanted to do a test to see if I can actually let those tomatoes here hang and let them vine downward and then give me my fruit to off this uh, new lights. And these things are pretty warm, I have to admit. You can really feel the heat coming off of these guys. But they really seem to be making these tomatoes just, just blow up. I mean, they're just growing like crazy. So it's going to be interesting because I'm thinking about doing something in this tent that I normally don't do, which is try doing some clones of some uh, CBD cannabis. And I figured I'd get these lights so once I get my spring garden plants taken care of and uh, out in the yard and planted, I might actually try growing a couple of you know clones inside here and grow them up into the full growth stage, get them to where they flower, and then uh, get a, I was talk, thinking, talking to Paula about one of my next things. If we do want to do this, I want to get a resin press to where I can actually take the, uh, the flowered buds, put them in this resin press with some uh, wax paper, or uh, it's not wax paper, can't remember what, can't remember what it's stuff called, but uh, it's in, you know, she, Paula uses it upstairs, and I saw a video on it this weekend, but uh, they put it in that resin press, they heat it up, and they squish out the, the the cannabis resins then they scrape them out and then they can use that to make you know uh, butter or you can take it and put it into like gummy bears and stuff like that because I want to try you and some of the CBD growth not for the THC for the high but for like you know for the aches and pains you get as you get older I wanted to have some of that to just try and test it out because I do buy CBD oil extracts from uh, infinite CBD and it does seem to help because I have a lot of shoulder issues if you haven't noticed sometimes when I'm holding the cameras I'm kind of holding it weird and I can't literally lift it up a lot because I blew out my shoulders doing, uh, you know, weightlifting extreme in my 20s, powerlifting type things. So uh, I don't really have the ability to do a lot of full motion shoulder activity anymore with frozen shoulders and torn rotator cuffs and that kind of thing. But that stuff does seem to help out. And uh, I've been using it for about two weeks now, and it does seem to make the shoulders move a lot better by using the, uh, the CBD extract. So just something to tell you guys. And it's another thing I'm going to try doing here on the Urban Homestead. All right, well, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Hope you guys had a great holiday season, and I uh, hope it's going to be another great 2019 for here on the homestead. All right, bye, guys.